Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we're back to Dino System. Last episode went mostly pretty smoothly. I still have a bit of bleed on me from it, but we've gotten our a lot of stuff put together. We are much better off for our calorie and nutrition intake. I do have to get us some more water. We're not doing too bad for stamina. And we also hunted our first animal too, which was a Del uh, Dedelphodon. So I've gotten the first tendon. I'll have to see what all I need for more of the archery stuff, because I know it... Oh, really? I gotta have quite a bit then. Okay, there we go. I'm surprised I needed that much water, but maybe it's just because of the meat I already had in our system. Yeah, when it's going to come to the uh, bow and arrow, I'm going to need two tendons for just that, another tendon for the quiver, and two pelts. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get quite a few things for it all, but... Actually, how's Hatcher's not doing too bad for its durability, so maybe what I'll do... Let me just take a little look around what... Okay, so we got the trikes to the south here. Oh, there is a dinosaur nest there, but I don't actually know... I think it's for the trikes, but to be... Oh, you s Okay, this is a good example of where... You see how it's kind of more like a flushed red for the crest than it is to that one? This probably... Yeah, that's a feet. Oh, no, that's another male. So is that the alpha? Okay, that might be the alpha. So we got to keep our distance from him because he's going to be looking for fights. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the Yankee skeleton went away, but there is still this one here. It is rotten, but maybe I can get off another tendon. I'm not going to focus on the meat quite yet just because we've already gotten... Uh, food is pretty well taken care of right now. I'll try getting the tendon off so I can at least get the bow. And I have to see if the hatchet will hold true or not. Like, every little proc is at least a bit of percent off of the hatchet's total durability, so... Well, at least it was at the very end. Much better than if it was at the start and then happened later on. That still leaves supposedly two tendons, but with the carcass rotting away like it is, it's actually kind of neat that it has the texture difference that it goes more like a sickly... Well, well, well. We've got a lot of you guys all around, and one of you actually snuck right in. Oh, you all snuck through that. I'll have to be careful then if I have meat in here, but... That's interesting to know that they're able to get in like that. Okay, well, all we'll do here is just get some sleep. I'm hoping we'll be warm enough through the night. Like, I think if we can dry out, that'll help us more, too. But yeah, yeah, I was expecting average sleep. The temperature is pretty low right now. Oh, well, well, there we go. We're... Does we we do have a little bit of wind exposure, but I think we're still going to be pretty okay just given everything around us. How the Dedelphodons have been sneaking in, though, doesn't bode well for, like, if I try to stockpile meat. So I'll have to see about how I deal with them. And what are we at? Oh, we're up to... I only bled myself once, but that already jumped us up by 20% to 30. Okay, so... We're up. Muscle soreness is ah, still kind of high, but again, unless you really spend like a day doing nothing, you're never really going to get that down to zero. Oh lord, I need a lot of water. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to have to get first aid in us because, yeah, health is constantly going down. Every time you bleed, that really impacts you. So I wonder how many leaves I'm going to have to go through this time before one actually goes off properly. I'm actually doing not too bad with this one. Well, of course, it's when you start speaking up to say, things are going well, it goes to crap. There we go. Okay, so what is first aid at? 
So level 14, I don't know if it'll get like any significant boosts at like the 15%, 20%, 25, or it's only the 10% increments. Yeah, it seems like the little the Delphodons are pretty active around here. So it might not hurt to try... Well, I say that, but truthfully I should let my health recover more. If we can get this bleed... Okay, it still says we're 10%, so you know what, I'm going to try to get in one more leaf and... Just get the bleeding stopped entirely. Maybe that'll be a key to getting better sleep. There's one. So I think that's the big thing, is if I have a lot more stamina, I can get stuff done a little bit better and reliably. Yeah, okay, that doesn't really hurt our muscle soreness too much. It is just a 0.1% every time. And it seems like whatever threshold there is for first aid, I've hit, and we don't seem to be wasting leaves, or it's a much lower chance to waste them. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like I still have some food digesting. So I'll just close that up and get ourselves more sleep. Should actually mind... Uh, let me check all these cases. Okay, those are all looking good. Yeah, so let's just get some sleep. And hopefully get our everything kind of recovering a bit more. Okay, so I guess that's all we'll really get. Okay, she's going to go out that way. Actually, I should check. What's the hatch at? Um, you know, I could use a bit more food. So I wonder if I should... It'd be dangerous, but I feel like I'd be able to... Yeah, like, there's the nest down here, but there's nothing actually, like, seeming to be guarding it. Like, I thought there'd be a trike on top of it or something nearby, but nope. Okay, well, maybe something's moving in towards that. I was just going to think, maybe I'll try to get one of those eggs. Snack on that, because that could be a good bit of easy food there. So maybe this is his nest, because... I mean, for looking for food, he's definitely keeping around here pretty close. I thought he'd probably move up to try getting, like, the ferns or something, but... Okay, so they have very good detection of where you might be. I was hoping I could have snuck in and gotten an egg, but maybe I won't be able to. Oh, there we go. That might be able to give me my opening. Okay, he's going that far off. I should be able to just snack on an egg and get out. Yeah, I'm even going to go for two. Just get that super in and get out of there. That puts us very good for meat. Water's going to be just fine. So I might even be able to just get a bit of sleep and see if that'll bring us up to a very good spot. Open that, close that up, and just see what can happen from that. Sounds like it should be a very good sleep. Muscle soreness should go down quite a bit. I'm surprised this is taking as long as it is to sleep. There we go. Yeah, we're at a good sleep. So that's 0.22 per. I wonder what qualifies for an excellent sleep, then. It's like, health recovery is going up very, very good. Food is still going up. Yeah, this is what I like to see. And the muscle soreness going down is very helpful as well. 
Yeah, see, all of a sudden it jumped to point two. So now we're at an excellent sleep, but I don't know why. But I do love seeing the full stamina bar coming back, and then... Yeah, the muscle soreness is going down to much better levels. Okay. So you know what, I'm gonna see if I can try actually starting to repair the hatchets. Yes, nope, that's going to take it off. And, oh no, never m Okay, that worked weird. Minus one, minus one, but then all of a sudden it jumped up for a huge amount. Well, that's perfect, and that will let me, oh. You know what, if it's just the one, I may even try taking care of him. Yeah, because health is pretty okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. The headshots are perfect. I took less damage from fighting a Troodon. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's a bit silly, but you know what? I'll happily take that. It's kind of funny to think that I do more damage myself to try and butcher a carcass than a Troodon did after biting me a few times. I'm actually kind of surprised how hot it is, too. Well, oh, okay, it's mostly because of the work we're putting in. But yeah, we'll get the tendon off, tuck it away. Oh, that's nice quality to that one. I do have to be a bit careful in case, like, the carcass might draw... Uh, other carnivores here. I'm trying to think of what else I might need tendons for. I've got two for the bow. I got one for the quiver now. Um, I guess I could try make. Well, no, I need. Okay, so you know what? Let's go for the pelt because if I can get two of those, and that's the quiver for the. Okay. Oh, sharp stone for that one. Okay. So I think I should have good sharp stone in here. Yes, I do. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sh Maybe I'll avoid making the spear for a while, just because... I don't really know what... the spear would excel in other than fishing. And with the Dedelphodons, I don't have to play the... Actually, I should still try the fishing as well. See if that's changed at all with the update. But yeah, to think I hurt myself more than... The dinosaur actually did. Okay, so there's that pelt. How is the... Oh, Sharpstorm's actually still doing it pretty good quality. So you know what? Let, let's get another pelt and basically start ourselves together to making the quiver and the bow. Oh, there's a, basically like a little explosion of them. So there's still four left. They'll probably be wanting to come in here to get the meat. And I, I have no problem sharing. Like... Thanks to having the eggs, we can let them enjoy and have the meat from here. I actually kind of want to keep this little population going, because if it can keep, like, balance to a certain number of individuals, I can basically have a ready source of meat on hand if I need. Okay, you know what? Let's drop that here, too, and go grab a drink. Yeah, so... I guess maybe the 25% is like the threshold for the muscle soreness. Once you go over that, you're into the overtrained mark. But I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh, good. Bleeding stopped. Although, watch, I'll probably start it again as soon as I go to try cleaning the pelts. Okay, let's start with you. God, this has been... I think that's really the biggest thing, is finding a good spot for a proper secure shelter... And making sure your character is actually specced out to skip a lot of the hard parts of just getting started if all your skills are at only level 10. Oh, thankfully didn't actually cause myself to bleed with that. And then I do have another small sharp stone, but it's not in very good quality. There we go. There's one pelt. How is the sharp stone sitting? Oh, nine out of... Oh, yeah, I'll start cleaning, then we'll go grab that one and try to use it to finish up the rest. Oh, or is it... 
No, I just have the other small one. Okay. Okay, so what? You know what? This actually might be able to finish off the pelt because the 9% got us pretty far along. Yeah, so there's butchering up. Eh, come on, just kind of get done. Yeah, we're, we're going to be so close. Please just complete. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now that's probably basically... Yeah, that's basically going to be gone too. But that is... Let's put the quiver together. Why not? We do have all the pieces, and it helps our crafting skill slowly. Yeah, we're sitting very good. It usually takes me a long time before I can actually say I'm sitting in a good spot in Dino System, but... Again, big thing I think is really taking the stuff out of zoology and digging and putting them into the crafting and the building. Those were the big steps that really let me get this start going. So we got the quiver. The bow will need, what is it? Two sticks. Nope. I don't know what that was from. Okay, that branch, 88 out of 100. Let's try to find the best branches we can in the uh, pile. Or maybe those are the only branches left. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay, yeah, so they're probably going to be about this, all the same. I don't, let me try to pair this again. Yeah, so it seems like there will be a certain amount of chance after the end of every repair. And as you're working, you may have the chance condition goes down through it, too. Eventually, it's going to be a good way to keep tools lasting for longer. It's just that how many you'll have to go through before that actually happens. Ah, you know what? Let me go grab another drink since that went right down. Oh, I'm actually surprised. I thought I'd see the Dedelphodons, like, snacking on him through the night. Or maybe... Oh, wait a minute. I think they only come out mostly dawn and dusk. Because it was once it kind of, like, hit sunset, we saw the four pop out of existence, or pop into existence. So maybe they are only active during, like, the twilight hours, really. And we'll try on the hatchet again. Although I could sleep too, so maybe I'll even do that if, after this attempt. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get some sleep. Because it should be warm enough. It should be at least a good sleep, maybe even excellent. Yeah, we'll have to see. Oh, yeah, it is excellent. There we go, that'll keep us hydrated through it. i reduce it back down to good. Oh, this muscle soreness coming down. Oh, it does not drop as fast as I thought it would. I thought sleeping would help it reduce a little faster than it is. No wonder I'm always fighting it, it doesn't really drop by that much. Yeah, so 25% is the threshold for it. Oh! Cr well, I think I'm going to be in here for a little while. Oh, no, no, you buck. Oh, you bugger. Okay, at least I can repair it. And the everything else is holding up okay condition. Freaking trike, though. That's what my worry was about leaving a carcass, is maybe I would accidentally bring a Rex in. Although, I don't know if it'll be sticking around, because it seems like it's... Oh, hard to say what it's going to do. I actually might find the, uh, the Dedelphodons handy, because if I do leave carcasses around, maybe they'll eat up all the meat, and that'll be less reason for, like, carnivores to come to the area. Beautiful. That's there, so we can clean that. 
Oh. Okay, you know what? Come here. So you can't use the hatchet to clean the sticks, but I think the big sharp stones are the best ones for cleaning. So that is 100 of 100. Yeah, so you're the one we'll sharpen up. Hello. You know what? For the Trodon carcass being there, unless maybe there's not enough meat for it, the Rex did just decide to migrate all on its own. Okay, but there we go. Okay, take you. Finish cleaning that off. Oh, my bad. That one is, yeah, 86. Let's clean that. And I already have myself my bow. Bow and quiver. If you've seen me through any of my survival games, you know I'm a bit of a bow nut, so this already does make me quite happy. I haven't even been a week into this playthrough, and we've already got all the equipment for it. There we go. Um... Okay, so only at a certain threshold can you repair stuff. Let me just take a look around, because, like, the Rex was just passing through. Hey, I'm not going to complain about that, as long as he doesn't cause problems. That works out very well for me. Guess we'll take you, and we'll see about getting more meat off. Like, I could probably use the pelts to eventually get the hide cloak or the hide cape or whatever it's called. Yeah, let's take you. It is pretty warm out. Okay, so wood. Wood, and I guess we'll throw the last branch in. Take these and see if we can start ourselves. No, I can actually... Okay, I should look at reinforcing the thatch then soon, too, just so that way I don't have the stuff crumbling apart on me. We can keep everything to rather high durability on it. So, yeah, so it just went under the 120. Oh, shoot. Let me try with a couple of small stones. Does that increase or decrease our chances? Oh, okay. I, you know what? I think I gotta go for the big stones. Uh, maybe it's even easier to find them from the boulder than it might be the mountain. Or maybe not. Okay, so that basically goes up by 3 to 4%. Or just 1%. Well, it's a stone, but it's not very good. Yes, they're about equal chances for finding between the two different sources of them. Well, there's a good one. 100 out of 100 is superb to get. There we go. We'll use these two to start the fire. I'm sure there's got to be more mechanics for, like, getting a fire started easier. Like, maybe if you toss in leaves or something else, it'll go better or faster or quicker. You know what? I'm going to leave that in there, and I'm going to just try to get the other bit of meat off that I want. As it shouldn't take too long, and by the time it's done, I can just... should have that cooked and ready to be eaten. As we can see, that just dipped below. Okay, so there's our one piece of meat. That's cooking. I'm just gonna slip through and get some more water while I can. Jeez, it's only mid-spring and it's already 20 degrees out. God, summers are still going to be pretty brutal. 
Oh, actually, I didn't realize there's a little pocket there where the thatch doesn't cover. If that's the case, I'll use that as, like, the, uh... Yeah, I know it's going to make me bloated, but... Okay, so let me see. I'll rotate that there. Resin can just sit there. Oh, sorry, Bo. That there. Yeah, those together there. The rocks, they can't really lose condition just sitting around, so... I'll just make some piles of them out there. And, right, so for that... Oh, it's just branches and leaves. I don't even need more resin. Okay. Let's see about getting a few branches, then. Okay, so there's one. Just keep an eye on what the trikes are doing in case, but I think we're pretty safe here. Oh, you know what? Why even go searching when there's one right there and ready to go? And try to get the three leaves. And then we'll be able to end this episode off once we have the thatch repaired. There we are. Okay. Yeah, so... Once everything is actually lined up well in Dino System, it is so nice to just feel like you have gotten on top of everything, but until that point, it will be a struggle. There's definitely a learning curve for the game, and it's one I'd probably recommend to look up some videos or guides or get tips for, because there's so many systems and it's actually very complex for the game that it, there's a lot of stuff you won't realize and even I still probably don't know about, too. But for now, we will save and end this episode right here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on another episode of Dino System. If you have enjoyed the game, be sure, or enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a like. Oh, if you haven't spotted a cave, you can find shelter inside until you're able... That's something I should try to do as well, is try to see if I can find caves on the map somewhere too. But yeah, it's been very, very interesting coming back. The Dedelphodon's exactly what the game needed. It is so good to have just a little source of meat. Not even that it's like you get four pieces, just like one or two. Enough to keep you going well without having to like risk going for carcasses the Rexes have or getting into a fight with a dino. It just expands it quite a bit and I'm very happy to have it. And also very happy to have you guys along. Any comments, tips, or tricks? Be sure to leave them all in the comments right down below. I do try to respond to any questions or feedback as soon as they arrive on the channel. But, until I do catch you in the next video, survivors, please remember as always, to take care and stay alive.